as you prepare for what most people think are the more important parts, like the, the butchery and the curing, and yeah. but actually so much hangs on how, the quality of the slaughter, the kill, yeah, you know, the harvesting. Well, you can't really know it until you experience a, an, a mere attempt mm. at a kill. Okay. I was going to say a bad kill, but a kill is a kill. If the pig is uh, instantly dead, that is a good. That is an end devoutly to be wished. Mm -hmm. But if it is merely an attempt and an unsuccessful one, um, I can describe to you how horrible that is, but really... You must experience it. <laughs> and I think that, not to go too deep right up, but that is the weight. That is the weight of killing any animal that you assume. And it is, it's a responsibility that you take on. And unless you are going to kind of indulge in a little bit of a, I don't know, what would it be? Overconfidence, maybe as a result of arrogance, maybe as a result of ignorance, probably most likely just inexperience, you think... As long as I do everything right, the pig will die seamlessly, soundlessly. Death is death, right? <laughs> and it will be lights out and it will be as painful uh -huh. as, as painless as possible. Right. Um, but unfortunately, the reality of the situation is that situations uh, go wrongly <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and it's nice to be open to that possibility. Uh, in fact, I think it's realistic. And so, the, unfortunately, the, the axiom is the best way to learn how to shoot a pig only once is to have to shoot it twice. Okay. Because I can tell you how horrible it is for the first shot to be bad, but until you experience it, you just don't feel the weight of that and how bad it is. Um, but, and there is a very pragmatic element to it, too. The only thing that's harder than shooting a pig once is shooting it only twice. Right. So uh, it's much easier just to get the first shot properly. So I guess that's we'll start with the kill, is what we're doing, right? Yeah. We can and go through the narrative. Let me see, too, because we don't want to sound too draconian. I mean, the reason why you know uh, this is because there have been a couple, just a couple that have gone wrong. Yeah. And, um, and we can talk about those, too, because they're fun. We've grown and we've learned from them yeah. to make you, a, you know, even better. Um, you know, to achieve excellence, you have to make a few errors. But... Um, to keep in mind too, like being encouraged, because I love that saying that you have only who as shoots them can miss them. Only those right. who, how does it go? Only those who shoots them can miss them. Right. And it's uh, something I stole, like anything intelligent that I say from. Um, well, you adapted. I adapted, yeah. What was it? James oh, Harriet. you know, it is a, yeah, from James Harriet. It's a rule of all farming. And we have friends that have illustrated this, but. Uh, he was speaking of it with in the con telling the story of a uh, farmer, I think a dairy farmer, who through you know multiple generations of breeding or either through a large output of capital had purchased the marvelous milking cow, like had purchased the perfect milking cow, uh -huh. and didn't have her long, and it it was really compounded. Like whenever you, uh, especially as a dairyman, you get the perfect dairy goat or the perfect dairy cow. You want them to be the foundation of your stock, mm -hmm. of your herd. You're going to take every single heifer from that cow or that goat or doe, and uh, that's going to be your new herd. And so when that one dies, it's not just a loss of a good cow mm -hmm. and a good producer and a healthy cow. It's really the end of a herd. Yeah, a line. Of a, of a, yeah. yeah, of a line. And mm -hmm. it's a huge loss particularly since your whole idea of a herd is so particular to you and uh, hard won over years of planning. So one of the sayings of the farmers in uh, the pseudonymous uh, or the eponymous uh, author James Harriet, their saying in Yorkshire was only them is has them can lose them. And there is an inherent risk to, to pursuing perfection. And that is that it will be thwarted. <laughs> and the same, so all of that to say, you, I, I like that philosophy when it applies to pig killing because uh, while we do everything we can to make uh, the death go well and to avoid suffering mm -hmm. and to just keep that at bay as much as possible, 
Only them who shoots him can miss him. So, yeah. if you are, if you dare to shoot a pig in the head, you are also daring the universe to get in the way and that you will miss. Well, and that separates you from all the people that won't step up and right. shoot them. Right, yes. The, the comfortable critic yeah. can easily deride your pig shooting abilities, right. but uh, until they have attempted such a thing, um, they really don't have much basis. Mm -hmm.